Hi everyone, Jen here from jennyandteddy.com. In this video, we are going to make a mini mesh cardigan. This cardigan is simple construction and lightweight, beginner friendly as always. During you watching the video, I would love you guys to get a free writing pattern on my blog with a step-by-step -step detail photo tutorial and the size available is size from small to 2XL I will put the link in the description below and you can also follow me on the Instagram to see the new pattern update the basic construction is we make a 3 rectangle front panel and the back panel and then we will join them together by sewing to create a shoulder and then we will um, create the armhole and create the uh, long sleeve and then we will making the ripping band separate from the cardigan and we will attach them by sewing after we finish sewing all the ripping band and that's all we done let's get started so what you will need is a crochet hook size 6 mm crochet hook for the main body of the cardigan and a 4 mm crochet hook or the smaller hook we will make we will use this one for the ripping band that we make it separate from the cardigan and the ripping band will be attached them to the cardigan by sewing and we need a yarn needle a pair of scissors measuring tape stitch marker i have a like a clip for my stitch marker if i want the bigger stitch marker and the stitch marker the normal one so you can have this one or both of them either one that will be fine and the yarn that I use is um, cotton decay weight yarn I love the cotton decay weight because they have a good weight and um, they light and froy for perfect for um, summer and spring this mesh cardigan is um, good for um, cover up as well and you can also use a full medium weight but there will be a little bit more weight for the mesh card again and let's get started So in this example size is fit size small to medium and we will start with the slip knot and the foundation chain is a multiple of two it's in even number and we we um, start with a six millimeter crochet hook for the cardigan body we make a slip knot And then we will chain 70. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. I will go off the camera and meet you at 70 chain for size small to medium. Now I have um, finished um, 70 chain. I will measure up my foundation chain. My foundation chain would be, um, I'm not stretching. It's about 22. If you um, get between um, from 21 to 24 inch, that will be fine because um, some people they are crochet um, tight and some people are crochet loosely so if you get between from 
21 to 24 inch that will be fine for size small to medium and the other side for the foundation chain I will put the link in the description below for you guys to get a free writing pattern on my blog now on row 1 we will make a um, single crochet in each chain across from the next chain from the hook single crochet one single crochet in each chain across one single crochet and we keep making one single crochet in each chain across and I will meet you at the end of the row here now we are at the end of row one that we just made single crochet in each chain across we will chain two and turn one and two on row two we will do the mini mesh stitch we skip the first stitch here the first stitch from hook and then slip stitch in the next stitch chain 2 and then skip the first stitch and slip stitch in the next stitch chain 2 1 and 2 skip the first stitch and slip stitch in the next stitch chain 2 Keep the first stitch and slip stitch in the next stitch. Chain 2, skip the first stitch and slip stitch in the next stitch. Keep going. You will see the chain space here. Chain space, the chain space. Keep going, repeating this until the end of the row. I will meet you the end of the row. Just chain 2 skip the first stitch and slip stitch in the next stitch now i am at the end of row 2 already we will chain 2 and turn to start on row 3 on row 3 we will do um, slip stitch in the chain 2 space from the previous row slip stitch and then chain 2 slip stitch in the neck group of the chain 2 space from the previous row chain 2 you see the <coughs> chain 2 space from the previous row the next group we slip stitch and then we chain two slip stitch in the neck group of the chain two space from the previous row chain two one and two slip stitch in the next in the next group of the chain two space from the previous row chain two slip stitch here in the next group Keep going until the end of the row. I will meet you at the end of the row here. I'm now at the end of row 3. We will um, chain 2 and turn at the end of row 3. And we will um, repeat row 3 row after row until we have 21 inch um, long for the um, back panel of the cardigan and I will meet you there guys I'm now um, finished um, 21 inch long for the back panel of the cardigan 
I repeat um, row 3 until I get 21 inch if you want the cardigan to be longer you can um, add more row maybe 22 inch something like that and we finish the back panel and we will start to do the front panel or for two pieces together and now we are going to make the front panel um, left and right they are exactly the same so we will for size um, small to medium we will start with the slip knot and then chain 30 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 I will go off the camera and meet you at 30 chain and now I finished 30 chain already for size small to medium I will measure my chain my chain would be about um, 10, and a, 10 and a half inch and remember with the mesh stitch it will um, a little bit smaller when we start to do the mesh stitch maybe smaller by one or two inch that will be okay for size small to medium and we will um, start on row one row one we will do single crochet in the each chain across chain two and turn at the end on row two and row three we will um, repeat exactly the same um, pattern same stitch we will do the mini mesh stitch like we did in the back panel of the cardigan you can go back to see row 2 and row 3 at the start we make the back panel and after you are making row two and row three already we will repeat row three until we have 21 inch for um, front panel we will make two piece and I will show you um, when I um, repeat row three row after row until I have 21 inch for the front panel Hi guys, I'm now finished our front panel two piece one and two they are exactly the same stitch and the same pattern and we are ready to assemble the cardigan together by sewing on the next clip Now we are going to um, assemble the cardigan by put the front panel left and right like this and we are sewing the shoulder by using the yarn needle Um, we finish this sewing on the shoulder and we will repeat the same for the other side and we will do create the armhole together on the next hi guys I did sewing the 
the shoulder on both sides already and now we are going to add uh, create the armhole the armhole will be about um, six inch or size small medium small to medium for the other side you can um, maybe seven inch I think will be okay for the other side and we will use the yarn needle again to sew up along until the end here I finished um, sewing on the side already to create the armhole and now we are going to uh, make the slip the slip we will join the new yarn at any place that you like I join it in here and don't forget to put your stitch marker And we will do a um, single crochet around the armhole just for one round and your stitch marker here. I put a stitch marker where I start. And we will continue to do single crochet around the armhole in each stitch or in each space for just one round to be the base for the sleep. You can um, count the uh, how many stitch that you make for this round to be um, accurate to make your um, the other sleeve have um, same size of your sleeve. Oh, did it make you confused? I mean, um, you should counting the stitch like for example. On this round, we make single crochet, like maybe you got about 40 or 60 stitch. And on the other side, you will do the same, like um, 50 stitch for this side and this side. So you will have the same side for the um, sleeve. But for me, I, I'm not count the stitch because um, as usual, I'm lazy. Uh, I'm lazy and I think I have um, my sleeve will come out um, the not exactly the same size maybe not too different because I have the I have measured uh, my armhole for six inch already and should be okay and I am okay with um, if my um, long sleeve is not perfect and if it have a little bit different on the side it will be fine for me but if, if you want to make it neat and perfect you should count the stitch so I am going to make a single crochet around the armhole just for one round around here and I will meet you here Um, now I finish um, round one of single crochet around the armhole. We not join the round. We will keep working, continuing in spiral. And on round two, we will start to do the mini mesh stitch line in the body. We will chain two. Skip next stitch skip skip the first stitch and then slip stitch in the next chain two skip the first stitch and slip stitch in next chain 2 
skip the first stitch and slip stitch in next stitch hang on I do slip stitch chain 2 skip the first stitch and slip stitch in the next stitch and keep going until the end of the row I will meet you at the end of row 2 here I'm now at the end of row 2 we do keep continue in spiral at the end you will see you will see the chain 2 space from the previous row we slip stitch in here and then chain 2 and you will see the chain 2 space from the previous row we will slip stitch in the chain 2 space from the previous row slip stitch chain 2 chain 2 and slip stitch in the next chain 2 space from the previous row chain 2 slip stitch in the next chain 2 space from the previous row and keep going until the end of the row at the end you will repeat um, row 3 chain 2 slip stitch in the chain 2 space from the previous row chain 2 and slip stitch the chain 2 space from the previous row or chain 2 group from the previous row keep going until you have about um, 8 inch for the sleeve uh, um, the, the sleeve can be customized if you want it shorter you can go for 5 inch or something like that I will go off the camera and repeat um, row 3 just chain 2 slip stitch in the chain 2 group from the previous row chain 2 slip stitch on the chain 2 space from the previous row the chain 2 space on the chain 2 group from the previous row are the same and um, I will meet you there when I got about um, certain length of the um, sleeve maybe 5 in 6 in or 8 inch um, something like that I will do I will show you and after this we will um, create a ripping band and attach them to the cardigan together so I did um, making the sleeve is about um, 8 inch or oh, I got about 9 inch you can make it longer if you like I, I think I will finish at 9 inch and the other side is um, I, I make the other side already probably uh, about 9 and a half uh, I will rip it off to make it symmetry about um, 9 inch so you can make the, the length of the sleeve is uh, can be customized longer or shorter if you like and after this we are going to make the ripping band to attach to the um, cardigan we will make the four ripping band attached to the to make the cup for the sleeve and then to attach to the opening of the cardigan and attach to the bottom of the cardigan so one for the opening the ripping band and one for the bottom and two for the cup attached to the sleeve so on the next clip we will make the ripping band together so now we are going to make the ripping band four of them to attach to the two for the cup the short one two for the cup i mean to attach to the sleeve two of them the short one 
and the long one is for the opening of the cardigan and for the bottom of the cardigan and the cardigan um, and the um, the ripping band I start the foundation chain with the uh, chain 9 is equal if we make the ripping band the thickness is about um, 1.7 inch if you want the ripping band to be thicker you can add more chain to the foundation chain line um, you can start with the chain 12 or chain 15 or 20 maybe, maybe if you want it thicker to be like 3 in you can be more like this one is chain 9 maybe you can be more like um, 15 chain you can get about 3 inch for the thickness of the ripping band so in the pattern I start the ripping band with the start a foundation chain with um, chain 9 we will start with a slip knot and then make with a small crochet hook side I use a 4 mm crochet hook side if you don't have 4 mm you can go for the smaller hook smaller than 6 mm like um, 4.25 or 3 mm crochet hook something like that it can be flexible because it's uh, the ripping band is separate from the cardigan so I start with a slip knot and then I chain 9 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 I will measure my foundation chain again I got it's about um, 2.2 inch for the foundation chain and have a nice chain already we will do on row one we will do a half double crochet in the next chain from the hook one half double crochet in each chain across just keep making one half double crochet in each chain across until the end of the row Keep making one half double crochet in each chain across. At the end, we chain one and turn. And on row two, I will tuck the yarn tail in here. On row two, we will make a one half double crochet in back loop only to create the ripping effect. See the front, front loop uh, in the back loop, front loop and the back loop. We are making half double crochet in the back loop only to create a ripping effect. Hang on, I will just um, cross up. I hope you can see it clear. I'll focus it. And we keep going. Half double crochet in back loop only. Keep going, half double crochet in back loop. Chain one and turn. 
and we will repeat um, making one half double crochet in back loop row after row until we got the length that we match the opening of the cardigan and the length and the other one will have the length that will be matching the bottom of the cardigan and the other two will be a short length for um for the cup to attach into the long sleeve of the cardigan on the next clip we will um sewing up attach them attach the ripping band to the cardigan together Now I am going to attach the ripping band to the opening of the cardigan first by sewing using the yarn needle. Now we are going to attach the ripping band at the bottom part of the cardigan. Now we are going to attach the ripping band to the long sleeve of the cardigan. Here we are. Um, I finished attaching the ripping band to the slip already, and we will repeat the same for the other side. And I will show you when I finish attach the other side. Here we are. I uh, finished attach the cup to the slip already, and. You can see I have finished and that's all we done I hope you go enjoy the tutorial and thank you so much for watching have a good day bye